What's up, guys? Hey. Bernie and Mike. Bam! Lifestyle That's investing, right. where we invest based off our lifestyle to build a lifestyle. Right. I'm excited. Me too, man. I'm pumped up. Every time. God, it's Mike told me that he, had, he just had two cups of coffee. Two, right in a row. About 45 minutes ago. Yep, exactly. And now I'm getting it. tired for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, su- super pumped. Uh, last week we, we talked yeah, a little bit about some uh, some real estate uh, and uh, and some networking. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, networking. We yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we actually we, did some networking too. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. And actually, I was told by the lady uh, that I went and saw like a CEO of the Keller Williams office um, who I've networked with before. She wants me to get involved doing some training of her agents, and I was told by her that um, one of the things that makes me so good at networking is that I don't have any shame. You agree with that? You think that's a true statement? Yeah, man. Yeah, and I didn't even think about that uh, as like part of one of my gifts or like maybe a skill is that it's kind of two-parted, meaning I'm not going to judge somebody Uh if they come up and they're not doing whatever they maybe think they should be doing. But also, I'm not afraid to go up and mix it up in front of a a group of people. And just be yourself. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, it was cool. It was good. Good feedback to be like, oh, that's cool. But we added it on the list. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. today I want to talk about IPO tech investing. So when a tech company is listed on the market, right? The the, the they're going to do the initial public offering, and then you make the investment. You know, either the day of or the day after. You know, whatever the case may be, right? Because uh, you can't necessarily invest as like an angel investor or like a VC because you're usually like a million in cash and then and making okay. like 250 every single year. So I'm more because we're kind of talking more general. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm just talking buying straight stock right when they IPO. Um, the, the biggest reason why I want to talk about that is because that's a new venture that I'm really looking at. OK. Um, which is an awesome thing because, I mean, that's what we do here. Right. We, we talk yeah. about our investments, your investments, opportunities that come yeah. up. And, uh, you know, within the last three and a half years, I've invested easily 95% of all my money in real estate. But now it's kind of reaching a point where I don't know if the, the value's there, right, okay. in, in my specific niche, in, in, my, uh, in my life. So um, I, I want to ride the wave a little bit in the tech sector. And I feel like now working at a, a startup mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, that's been around for a, a couple of years. Yeah, a tech yeah. startup out, out in Seattle, actually. I've uh, been learning a lot about that, and I think that there's a lot of opportunity. So the beauty about this is it's a it's a it's a learning stage, right? Right. I'm just going to be talking about you know some things that I'm looking out for right now, and then the beauty is in a month or so we'll do it. You know, we can do like a checkup, be like, hey, how did this happen? How did that work? And then kind of go from there. So it's a you know I'm learning, you're learning, Mike's learning. Yeah, and it's a cool thing. Right. So uh, a couple a couple things. Um, I, uh, I did some research. So in 2014 and 2015, only 20% of the tech IPOs were higher than their initial um, stock, right? That they were trading at, right? So like if, if uh, Bloom Energy is what I'm looking at, right? If, if in 2014, they listed at 10 bucks, yeah. Right, the probability of them being under ten dollars at the end of that that year, eighty percent, eighty percent. That's research. Yeah, research. That's an important thing. That is important. Yeah, because that just says it just told you eighty percent chance that I'm gonna lose. Yeah, right. exactly. So and, and if you put it in right in the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So if you wait a month or two, uh, I'm not counting that out. I'm right. saying from the initial the initial yeah. dollar. And then until right. the end of that physical year in 14 or 15, 80% of them were lower, right? So that's a big thing. Mm-hmm. I also read though, 2016, if you would have invested your money, like allocated it just perfectly among every single uh, one that, that IPO'd, and I wrote down how many had IPO'd, I think it was like uh, 19 or something like that. It wasn't that many because in 14 and 15, there was a ton, but 16, there, there, there weren't that many. Same with uh, this year right now. But if you would have uh, diversified it, you know, perfectly, say you had ten thousand dollars, yeah, yeah, split them up percentage wise perfectly, you would have made a thirty eight percent return. Whoa! So yeah. if you had ten grand and you split it up, you would have ended up making like thirty three hundred bucks or thirty eight hundred bucks. Thirty eight hundred bucks, exactly. Okay, exactly. Even though some of them lost, maybe eighty percent lost. Yeah, even though the but majority the twenty lost. Lost, the twenty that gained gained enough to make up for it and more. 
Whoa. Exactly. Okay. So j- just Ooh, look at crazy. that. I know, right? Right. That, that, that's what I thought too. But it's it would be the example of something opening at ten and then being like two hundred bucks a share. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So right. so there's like five or six that are like pulling the whole right. 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 Yeah. 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 Like they're okay. just pulling that because whole thing. How else? I mean, is, did you figure out a way to? choose which one of those were the winners and, and, that, and that's what i'm looking at okay yeah yeah, that, yeah that, that, because that. it would have been a lot better to put the whole 10 grand in the winners but if it's i mean that might require mm-hmm. a lifetime of research that and, we don't have that exactly time. yeah and that's what that's why i'm looking for trends right now okay right i'm really looking for trends because yeah. what that tells me is so 80 percent lost right 80 percent right. lost yeah. but if you would have done it you know, perfectly yeah, along the board. Thirty eight percent. Yeah, you you awesome. almost almost fifty percent. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, almost fifty percent. That's that. That's insane. So what what that's telling me is it's it's super risky, super risky, yeah. right? But if you know the what reward. you're doing, yeah, yeah the, the reward is high. And so what I'm trying to find right now is just specific trends. And I'm actually tracking a whole bunch of companies right now, and I'm trying to find what trends go with what trends. Yeah. Right. And and that's part of the journey right now. And uh, if any of you guys that are listening know good trends on that, you know, I've been talking to a few few of my buddies. Um, today I was talking to a buddy of mine that, that I work with, and he invested in Square. Right. He invested in Square right when it IPO, and he's he's already three x right. He, he three times his, his money. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. yeah. He didn't say how much money he invested right. or anything like that, but but he already three yeah. times it, and it hasn't been too much time. But then he told me about a few other ones like Twitter and whatnot, right. and those just went crash. Oh, right. Right, so it's 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 a really risky. I think it's a really risky investment. But what I'm trying to figure out right now is if I can find a trend, yeah, and really magnify on that trend, right, and then boom, yeah, right, yeah. It seems like Square it could be put in a category different than Twitter because Square, it's very clear how they make money. They charge a processing fee every time somebody uses it. Yeah, yeah that's Twitter, true. it's a little unclear. It's advertising. It's right. true. Yeah. 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 And then even if they have like you know, say a billion followers, how many right. of those billion are, are actually active? How many of those yes. would actually buy? Yeah, and create I mean, revenue. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's yeah. so much unknown right. in yeah. some of those. Yeah. Um, I think we're hitting seven and a half minutes. So okay. I think the next video we're gonna talk. I'm, I'm, we're gonna dive a little bit more in depth of of uh, the trends I'm specifically looking at and some okay. specific companies that I'm actually gonna look into investing and, and check out their IPOs. So okay. uh, that was a quick eight minutes right yeah, there. Yeah, really right? quick. Oh my God, this time it goes yeah. fast. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. And check in for the next video That's with right. Bernie and Mike, Lifestyle Investing.